Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Slop, and uh, today we're going to be taking a listen to another Patreon request. Uh, this one is called The 60s by T-Bone Burnett. Never heard of this person before, T-Bone Burnett, so... Uh, yeah, I'm excited about this one. This one was requested by Robert D. Hassinger. So everybody, excited for this song. Thank Robert D. Hassinger in the comment section. Thank you very much. All right, uh, so we're just going to jump right on into the song. I don't know what to expect, so expectations are non-existent. So uh, here we go, everybody. I have a painter friend who says he actually slept with Jacqueline Kennedy. Or was it John Kennedy? Maybe it was Jacqueline Bissett. At any rate, I can tell I'm starting wrong. Let me begin again. There's a new breed of man. He's got a wife and some kids. He works behind a desk beside a computer. He watches a lot of television, belongs to a health club, drinks things like Cuddy and Seven, whatever that is. <laughs> he wears faded Levi's and Gucci loafers. His hair is long okay. and perfectly groomed. He smokes okay. the best marijuana, wears a gold Coke spoon in his pocket. Oh, don't know his about that. His speech is riddled with jogging like far out. Do your own thing, I hear you. Into it, blow my mind, freak. You know, I'm a sports freak, I'm a jazz freak, I'm a video freak. Oh, he hates accident, never questions authority. Politicians don't debate, they transcendental meditate. Stockbrokers are in that gym. They're all strung out on heroin. Baseball players on full square. They've got beers and stringy hair. Car dealers don't just sell side trades. They sometimes also deal cocaine. Wow, so this is really cool. Did not expect that turn. Just took on a fuller noise. So many uh, different instruments started to come in. Wow. The song just keeps surprising me. So many layers keep growing. Uh, and I love just, uh, I love just the punk feel of that chorus there. Wow. Really cool song so far. Great first impression, I dare say. All right, let me uh, just rewind a little bit and we'll get back into it. <laughs> When he was younger and out struggling to climb the ladder He used to fight with his wife or have a night out with the boys And he'd maybe go to a bar and try to pick up some strange if you get my drift And after a while he started hearing about free love And he felt left out And he tortured his imagination dreaming of pot parties For those suntan girls in halter tops with their cutoffs slid up to their bell loops Rough. Then he saw a picture in Playboy of Ursula Andrews on the arm of some hippie, and that did it. He what began his rebellion late. And now he's got a designer camper. And one time he even got to sleep in it with one of those girls in the cutoffs. Whoa, okay. But it made me feel awful because he had to pay her fifty dollars. Oof. It was 20 for anybody else. Jeez. Politicians don't debate. They transcendental meditate. Stockbrokers aren't in bad tune. They're all strung out on heroin. Baseball players aren't so square. They've got beard, stringy hair. Car dealers don't just sell drive trains. They sometimes also deal cocaine Here's the brave new world On the mirror
What? Wow. I love when artists put just little treats at the back end of the fade out. Like, what? Just like a little treat for people who decided to wait. You know what I mean? Who didn't click out. <laughs> or who didn't skip to the next track. Wow. Just wow. Is that a solo artist too? T-Bone Burnett. Is this just one person? This song was wild. Yeah, if this is just one person, then that is so impressive. It feels like one person wrote it and like arranged it because it it is such an unconventional like arrangement. It is a uh, very cool. Wow, this is a very very unique song. Deserves multiple listens to truly appreciate. Like seriously, uh, the way it transitioned from being just like a small acoustic sound to taking on a full on just overwhelming sound it wasn't overwhelming in a bad way it was this was a great song everything was really well like remixed and everything so t-bone burnett the 60s wow wow fantastic dude so many different like lyrical portions too uh with different melodies very complex song very political too, just seemed very mad and calling out, you know, the, uh, the, the politicians and the rich for doing drugs and, you know, not being cool. That's just my first initial thoughts. Um, wow. Okay. So yeah, before we get into the lyrics, I want to give a shout out to my gold tier patrons. We have Adam Sanford, Gary Milstead, HRH King Lurks, Joseph Wilger, Onyxia, Peter K, James Owen, Chuck Dye, Jim Tatro, Mark Gedemeyer, Thomas Whiteoff, Dirk, Robert D. Hassinger, and Brett King. Thank you all so very much. And the rest of the patrons, you can see yourself on the screen right now. Thank you all so very much. Really appreciate it. Couldn't do this without each and every single one of you. Thank you. So yeah, I was really surprised by this song and by this artist like truly inspired. I just love the, uh, the really, uh, the overlapping syncopation of all the different instruments and voices at the end of the song as well. It, uh, just, I love it. Um, really good. Um, I can see how like artists like, uh, Blink-182 took a lot of inspiration from that. You know, if Tom DeLonge didn't listen to T-Bone Burnett, I don't know if, I don't know, but the sound's really cool. All right. Let's get into these uh, lyrics. I have a painter friend who says he actually slept with Jacqueline Kennedy. Or was it John Kennedy? Maybe it was Jacqueline Bissett. At any rate, I can tell I'm starting wrong. Let me begin again. There's a new breed of man. He's got a wife and some kids. He works behind a desk behind a computer. Beside a computer. He watches a lot of television, belongs to a health club, drinks things like Cuddy and a Seven, whatever that is. He wears faded Levi's and Gucci loafers. His hair is long and perfectly groomed. He smokes the best marijuana, wears a gold Coke spoon in his pocket, and his speech is riddled with jargon like, far out, do your thing, I hear you, into it, blow my mind, and freak. You know, I'm a sports freak, I'm a jazz freak, I'm a video freak. He hates accident, never questions authority. So that's talking about somebody he doesn't really like. That breed of man. Uh, politicians don't debate, they transcendental meditate. Stockbrokers aren't, at, aren't in at ten, they're all strung out on heroin. Baseball players aren't so square. They've got beards and stringy hair. Car dealers don't just sell drive trains. They sometimes also deal cocaine. When he was young and out struggling to climb the ladder, he used to fight with his wife or have a night out with the boys. And he'd maybe go to a bar and try to pick up some strange if you get my drift. And after a while, he started hearing about free love and he felt left out. And he tortured his imagination, dreaming of pot parties with those sun-tanned girls and halter tops with their cut-off slid to their belt loops. Then he saw a picture in Playboy of Ursula Andress and on the arm of some hippie, and that did it. 
he began his rebellion late. So because, so this person turned into a hippie, right? Because they saw that Playboy picture. And now he's got a designer camper. And one time he even got to sleep in it with one of those girls in the cutoffs. But it made me feel awful because he had to pay their pay her $50 and it was 20 for anybody else. <laughs> wow. Why is it so expensive for him? <laughs> uh, politicians don't debate. They transcendental meditate. Stockbrokers aren't in by 10. They're all strung out on heroin. Baseball players aren't so square. They've got beards and stringy hair. Car dealers don't just sell drive trains. They sometimes also deal cocaine. Here's the brave new world on a mirror. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Does that three times. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60. Keep all the bad, hey, and destroy all the good. Keep all the bad, hey, and destroy all the good. Wow, and then that repeats for a long time. Keep all the bad, destroy all the good. Keep all the bad, destroy all the good. Wow. Yeah, no, there's definitely a political like message to this one. Uh, being real subversive about it, writing like a true artist, like a true writer, released in 1983. Wow. Wow, fantastic, dude. So this song says it's featuring Pete Townsend and Mick Ronson. What? They were part of this song? Please enlighten me, people. All right, that's going to do it for this reaction. Thanks, everybody, for coming along. I really appreciate you. Uh, make sure to visit patreon.com slash John if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, make sure to give this video a like and a subscribe. It would really help me out. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.